Welcome to our continued introduction to standardized tests. And now we're going to go over word games. Now, when I talk about word games, I don't mean Scrabble or Words with Friends, although it's probably a good idea to play those things. I do mean the quiz questions on the test that, well, play with words. So, the lesson overview is going to go like this. What does a word game question look like? I'm just going to give you two examples and you'll be able to clue into them really quickly. You've seen them before. Then I'll give you some tips on how to solve them very carefully, one at a time. And then finally, we'll go over some examples together. Here is a simple structure of a word game. The graphic novel Watchmen begins with a blank monologue from the anti-hero Rorschach. And then I have four options of what I think should go into that blank. Now, about the only thing I know from this sentence right now is that this word right here needs to be an adjective, and all of these are adjectives. So we will use tricks in a minute to answer this one. What do you do when you have two blanks? Well, that's kind of scary and fun. Basically, what's happening here is that we have the tragic hero plots with his wife to blank the king and therefore blank the throne. What do I mean by this? Well, we'd have to figure out which pair actually fits together. Now, you might be thinking, oh no, one was tough enough, now I gotta do two. Well, it actually turns out that these ones that have two in them are going to be a little easier to answer than the ones that only have one. And I'll show you why later.